simply take a line segment of 4.5, say that is AB, and uh, extend one centimeter. Extend this line segment by one centimeter. So you extend this from 4.5 to one more. 4.5 is here, then we extend it to 5.5. That's fine, 4.5 to 5.5. Now we will take perpendicular bisector of this line segment. I would rather say the extended line segment. So more than half, and uh, the same more than half arc will be down there from this point this this help us to locate midpoint of this line segment we're going to slightly move it this way and join these points that is the perpendicular and uh, once you have located the midpoint of this line segment, take this arc and draw a semicircle. Is it easy to draw a semicircle? Yes, semicircle drawn. Let's see the given line segment that we took. Let's name that as AB. AB was 4.5. Let's write it here. AB is 4.5 and then BC is one. So from there to C, we are this much is one. And then at B, we are going to draw a 90 degree angle. Is it easy to draw the 90 degree angle with the help of protractor? Yes, you simply take a point over up here. Yes, we have this point as B, this line is on, yes, 90 degree. Now we would like to draw B, we'd like to join B and this point. Wherever they intersect, look, this is passing through B, of course, you see passing through that point as well. So we can draw this line wherever this line intersect the circle. That distance would be a square root of 4.5. So we are saying this distance is a square root of 4.5. Now we will we will just draw that line like this and we can extend our uh, original line segment to form the real number line and where the point P will represent, point P will represent, yeah, it should be exactly on the line, here it is, yes. So if we extend this line segment like this, Point P will represent zero. And we have, let's say this point is D and this point is E here. If BE will represent, BE will represent a square root of 4.5, okay, B. And this is your number line where B is, B represents zero. B represents zero and towards the left of this, A will represent negative of 4.5. A will represent negative of 4.5. So A is negative of 4.5 because we have drawn a line segment of 4.5 side towards the left of it, zero. B is the point zero and BE will be square root of 4.5. So just like this, we can represent any real positive number on number line.